group of urban planning experts paying a visit to Port Aransas this week. So they are here in the coastal bend to recommend ways to make the tourist spot even more of a destination as the city continues to rebuild after Hurricane Harvey. Chris 6 News reporter Greg Chandler was in Port A this evening as officials welcome those experts to town. And Greg, of course, is live in our newsroom tonight. Greg, tell us more about what happened. Well, Jen, over the next few days, members of the Urban Land Institute will meet with Port Aransas residents and business owners to get an idea of their vision for the future of their city. City officials welcomed the panel with a reception this evening. And for 70 years, the ULI has helped cities around the world solve problems which prevent growth. This week, the ULI brought in experts in land use, design, city government, and residential development. They'll tour the city for a couple of days, then discuss their findings. Then Friday, the panel will present city leaders with their recommendations. You're bringing multi-disciplines into this process. There's not very many places that I've ever heard having a multi-discipline approach to analysis. And so from that perspective, I think the community will benefit immensely. Now, among the ULI's focuses this week is the lack of affordable housing in Port Aransas. Many affordable options in the city were lost to Harvey. That means many resorts and businesses are short employees who can't afford the commute from places like Corpus Christi. They're going to give us some ideas on how we can approach that and hopefully overcome it. And so next summer, when we're out bringing a lot of new employees to, to work for our businesses in spring and summer and the fall, we have more housing options for them so they can work and live in Port A. Now, city officials will also brief the panel on a proposed hotel and convention center. Also on the ULI's to-do list, finding ways to enhance the city's main streets from a branding point of view.